Hi guys, it's a couple Legos, and all you probably thought I was dead, by all of you, I mean my four subscribers, but, uh, whatever. <laughs> so, <clears throat> here's a new Lego Transformer, uh, he's Crockpot, because he turns into a lobster, and the Crockpot is kind of what you, you know, cook shellfish in, if you want to eat them. So... He has all the stuff that a lobster probably ha that a lobster has. His antenna, um, claws, his eight regular legs. He has ten legs in total, including the claws, and his tail. So he's a technical organic lobster, as you can probably tell. Because he really does not look all that much like a regular lobster with all the little gray accents in him. Um, so let's just get to the transformation. To transform Crockpot, the first thing we're going to do is just get everything out of the way. Strain out the tail, move the claws out of the way, uh, and just bring the antenna down. Then... What we're going to do is, oh, we are going to fold this bit up just to get it out of the way, as I said earlier. And we are going to rotate this entire section around on, I don't know if you can see this, the little eye piece right here. So it will just rotate all the way around. And something will fall off. Okay. Now you're left with this. Now, you're going to <clears throat> bring this bit up, and it will hinge up again on this friction, on this, on this uh, friction joint right here, like so. And just bring that all the way up so that it sits flush with this piece. Then you're just going to bring down these bits right here. Now, the leg assembly back here are on these uh, T joints. And what you're going to do is you're just going to rotate them all the way around from here so that these are going to face in this direction. So now, just rotate that entire assembly around. Kind of just move stuff out of the way. And then the claw falls off again. And then, you kind of left with this. Just fold in the lobster legs, like so. And now, we're going to fold back the claws, so just take this and fold it back, like so. Do that on the other side. And now you have this. Then, you're just going to get these, um, these claw joints out of the way. Just move these out of the way. And now these, this part of the claw, I'm just going to show you this. This part of the claw is on um, this little like uh, jumper plate. And it's going to rotate down like so. Then what you're going to do with this is you're going to rotate this piece. This piece is on, I don't even know what to call it, one of those um, one by one bricks with the holes in the middle. And it's going to rotate down also. Now, you can just, you don't need to take it off, I just did that to show you guys. I'll just do that on the other side. 
and it falls off again. Uh, now, everything's falling off. That's, that's what you do then. You just take everything off now. What you do is you take these parts of the antenna, rotate them all the way up, and just kind of rest them against his back. And, oh, of course, it comes off once again. The fragileness of LEGO Transformers strikes once again. Okay. Now, the last step is to rotate these guns all the way around. And then you are going to rotate this piece down so it sits flush with the rest of the body. And those pieces will become shoulder cannons and you will form the head like so. So Cockpot here, he has this kind of rib cage which I find really cool. He has a very large profile, which makes him look very, very beefy. He's like the, the muscle. And uh, he has his shoulder cannons. And uh, yeah, he doesn't have too much articulation. It's really just outward and inward movement on the arms, to the, on the elbow. Inward and outward on the um the shoulders and just down on the head uh you can bring this his leg up and you can bend at the knee bend at the knee and that's pretty much it so Thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.